Yeah, hello. Welcome to my channel. Let's provide an answer to this question and uh, statistics. I got this from one of my followers who is in nursing training college. So they were to uh, estimate the mean of the following data using an assumed mean method. So for us to use an assumed mean method, the assumed mean, we have the A plus the sigma FD over sigma F, where the A stands for the assumed mean, the mean you assume. In some cases, you'll be given the assumed mean. In some cases, you have to assume the mean in your data. Then the sigma FD simply means the frequency times the deviation between each data from the assumed mean. Then we use the total frequency. So it means we need a column for the max obtained. Then since the max is from 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, in that order, we need to find the middle point, that is the midpoint of the data. So you add the upper limit plus the lower limit divided by 2. That will give you the midpoint of the data. That will represent the x. Okay. So let's put that down. So for the midpoint, which is representing the x value, we have 10, the lower limit plus the upper limit, that will be 30. 30 divided by a word, 2. That will give us 15. 20 plus uh, 30, that will be 50. 50 divided by 2 will be 25. 30 plus 40, that will be 70, divided by 2, that will be 35. So we can see that the class size is 10. From year to year, we add 10. If you add 10 to this, you arrive at this. So we are just going to be adding 10, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, they are for 105, if we are adding 10 to all of them. Repeating our frequency will be 4, 5, 4, 4, 3, 4, 16, 13, 11, and 16. So now, here, we need to find the assumed mean. And always, the assumed mean is the, the middle, we assume the mean to be in the middle. We know that is a central tendency. So we look at our data. From here, we are having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 10 different data. The middle will be between the fifth and the sixth. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 55 and 65. So if we add 55, 65, I think we have 10. This will be 11. So we are going to have 120 divided by 2, that gives us what? 60. Meaning the assumed mean, the mean we are assuming in the data is supposed to be what? 60. Alright. So now it will be x value minus the mean, the assumed mean, which is 60. So in this case, if we subtract 60 from 15, you will be having a negative 45. Then you subtract 60 from here, you can see the pattern that the positive numbers climbing up are the same with the negative number in terms of figures. All right, so now we multiply the frequency times D, the values we have here. So 4 times this, then you multiply them in that order. Alright, so now we have this as the FD. For us to find the sigma FD, we add all these values with the negative and the positive together. So this, if I add my sigma FD, that is adding all these values, I'll be having 1160. I also need the sigma F. So adding all these values. That will also give you 80. So I have my sigma f to be 80. So the mean 
which is an x prime, which is going to be the assumed mean that we assume was 60. So 60 plus sigma fd, which is 1160, divided by sigma f, which will be 80. You know, these zeros will cancel. And if we divide 1160 by 116 by uh, 8, that will give us 14.5. So we're having 60 plus 14.5, and that gives us 74.5. So it means the mean of this data using the assumed mean method, we are going to arrive at 74.5. As the use of assumed mean. We can also try using the sigma fx over sigma f and see if you arrive at the same answer. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, and comment. Bye-bye.